Hello guys, welcome back sa ating channel Mechanical Engineering Vlogs. So guys, in today's episode guys, ay pag-usapan natin ngayon ang one of the popular job careers na pwede sa isang mechanical engineer. So kung uh, meron kayong idea guys kung ano ang isa sa popular or common na job career para sa mechanical engineer, please drop your comment below sa ating comment section. Para na rin guys, uh, makatulong kayo guys sa ating mga aspiring mechanical engineers or sa mga newbie mechanical engineers at uh, magkaroon sila ng idea guys kung ano ang mga roles na pwede or job careers na pwede para sa isang mechanical engineers. So guys, uh, before tayo magsimula, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Engineer Antonio Bernaldez, isang OFW mechanical engineer dito sa Saudi Arabia na magbibigay sa inyo ng mga tips, advices, and ideas guys baka makatulong sa inyo sa buhay so tara guys, let's start our discussion so for me guys, isa sa popular or common na job career para sa mechanical engineer is ang maintenance engineer or maintenance supervisor so yan po ang pinaka common guys no uh, especially sa private sectors uh, if you are a mechanical engineer, you are most likely get a job as maintenance engineer or supervisor. So ngayon, ang question natin, ano ba ang uh, ibig sabihin or how we define maintenance engineer? Uh, ano ba ang ginagawa o role ng isang maintenance engineer bilang mechanical engineer? No? So yan po ang career na ating pag-uusapan sa ngayon. So before we start our uh, discussion guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel at uh, pakihit na rin ang bell button para kayo ay always updated every time na may video tayo na i-upload. So tara simulan na natin. So guys, ano ba ang meaning ng maintenance engineer? So ang maintenance engineer guys ay is a person who carry out maintenance on mechanical systems or equipment. So yan po ang ginagawa ng isang maintenance engineer or supervisor siya ang uh, gumaganap or nag implement guys ng uh, maintenance para sa mga mechanical systems or equipment natin. Halimbawa sa mga mechanical systems guys ay ang HVAC or heating, ventilating and air conditioning system. Escalators, um, elevators, so that is part of the mechanical systems. At uh, another example guys is yung uh, plumbing systems so yan yung mga examples sa uh, mechanical systems and then guys sa equipment naman uh, like sa mining industry uh, we have process equipments like tanks vessels gearbox um, furnaces boilers uh, agitators or mixers at marami pang iba guys no uh, many to mention but yun yung mga example natin sa mechanical systems at saka sa equipment in general so yun po guys no and then next is ano ba ang role or um, ginagawa ng isang maintenance uh, engineer so guys maintenance engineer is responsible no his duty or responsibility is to perform a maintenance task na tinatawag natin. So, there are two types of maintenance tasks, guys, na tinatawag, no? Una is time-based maintenance, also known as preventive maintenance, uh, scheduled maintenance, uh, proactive maintenance, or di kaya routine maintenance. So, yan ang unang klase ng uh, maintenance guys and then pangalawang klase ng maintenance is unplanned maintenance or also known as corrective maintenance breakdown maintenance at saka yung uh, reactive maintenance so that are the, that those are the types of maintenance uh, task guys na uh, ginagawa ng isang maintenance engineer or ng maintenance supervisor by the way guys, disclaimer lang no, I'm not saying that these are the uh, definite role or description ng isang maintenance engineer. I know maraming roles and responsibilities na ginagampanan ng isang maintenance engineer or supervisor. Um, sa akin lang, uh, gusto kong i-share sa inyo 
what are the common rules and duties or responsibilities ng isang maintenance engineer na we easily understand. So, I'm not saying guys na ito lang yung role or responsibilities. Meron pang uh, maraming activities uh, or roles, responsibilities or duties ng isang maintenance uh, engineer or supervisor. So, yan po guys, no? Uh, disclaimer lang natin yan. So, tara, uh, i-discuss natin further guys yung um, dalawang klase ng maintenance. So guys, in a time-based maintenance approach, uh, one of the rules or responsibilities ng isang maintenance engineer is to perform maintenance checks or maintenance inspections in a regular basis, mapadaily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, depende sa uh, approach nyo guys kung iyan ay effective. And then the fundamental or primary objective guys, uh, bakit ginagawa yan ng isang maintenance engineer, is to ensure guys that all equipments are functioning well. So, yan ang pinaka fundamental objective ng isang maintenance engineer guys na dapat ang isang equipment ay tumatakbo or nagpa-function na healthy or in a good condition guys. At nagagamit siya on its purpose. Kasi if hindi mo siya nagagamit on its purpose useless That is why that is the objective of a maintenance engineer. So, how we need to uh, paano ba ginagawa yan na ma-insure ang isang equipment will run in a healthy or in a good condition way. So, isa sa mga approach guys as part of the time-based maintenance is number one, maintenance engineer is conducting lubrication sa mga rotating gears or mga roller bearings. Isa yan sa time-based approach. Pangalawa, replacing defective parts or worn-out components ng isang unit or ng isang equipment. Yan yung pangalawa. But it doesn't mean uh, part yan ang corrective kasi once ang unit guys or ang isang equipment ay tumatakbo pa pero meron lang siyang mga indication ng uh, A problema like a uh, unusual sound, abnormal sound, um, high temperature or excessive vibration. Kung siya ay nagagamit pa rin for, it, for its purpose, uh, that is part of time-based maintenance. I-schedule mo lang siya to replace those defective parts para mawala yung mga uh, problema niya as part of the indication na ang uh, equipment na to ay uh, may abnormal condition pero nagagamit pa naman manageable pwede siya i-schedule for maintenance so that is part of the time based maintenance no and then guys uh, another thing is uh, replacing filters sa mga engines uh, lubrication systems ng mga filters uh, expected yung service life ng isang uh, element or ng items sa isang unit or sa isang system Uh, ito ay part ng preventive maintenance no so that is also part of the time based maintenance approach so yan po ang um, uh, time based maintenance approach and then guys uh, on the other hand guys once uh, there is unexpected failure occurrence guys maintenance engineer must immediately perform his duty to conduct corrective maintenance na tinatawag no that is opposite to the time based maintenance kasi reactive na siya eh merong failure or equipment breakdown then that approach of maintenance is called corrective maintenance or unplanned maintenance na tinatawag so one thing uh, that a maintenance engineer or supervisor must do is to conduct uh, immediate initial inspection of the reported uh, equipment failure or breakdown. Uh, bakit yan yung gagawin guys ng isang maintenance engineer? Of course, he must know or he must conduct fault analysis to know what is the cause of the failure or what is the cause of the problem. That is very important guys for a maintenance engineer or supervisor to know the cause 
of the problem or the failure. Otherwise, he cannot provide uh, corrective actions or remedial actions. Kasi hindi niya alam anong problema, anong cause eh. Kasi kung alam mo yung cause, alam mo rin kung paano i-rectify ang isang defective unit or equipment. So yan po ang uh, dapat na mayroon ang isang maintenance engineer na knowledge. No? Based on that one guys, that uh, corrective actions or remedial actions ay para to solve the issue and restore the functionality of the equipment. So kung halimbawa na breakdown siya, may problema, nirectify, para tumakbo ulit ang isang equipment. So yan po ang purpose guys, uh, ng corrective maintenance. And then there are some instances guys na corrective maintenance approach na hindi mo kailangan tanggalin ang buong unit, may papalitan ka lang. Halimbawa, example nito is bumba, walang flow or walang discharge. If you're an engineer or supervisor as maintenance, tingnan mo kung anong problema. May uh, problema ba sa uh, drive uh, assembly? Yung B-belt niya is loose, uh, high fluctuation ng B-belt, kaya nagkakaroon ng slippage sa belt. Kaya yung, uh, yung pag-drive uh, ng uh, fluid from suction to discharge, ay mahina or walang flow kasi naputol hindi natin alam no so that are the troubleshooting na ginagawa ng isang maintenance engineer meron din namang uh, instances na kailangan mong palitan based on your troubleshooting may problema na pala yung impeller sa loob yung uh, wet end parts ng bomba ay worn out na or defective na so kailangan mong palitan assuming that you have uh, available spares or standby spares so yan po ang ginagawa ng isang maintenance engineer and then part of the roles or, or responsibilities of a maintenance engineer is to make documentation or reporting ano yung mga example ng documentation or reporting ng isang maintenance engineer daily log sa maintenance activities niya or maintenance task na ginawa niya on a daily basis mga reporting uh, with regards sa uh, repairs or equipment failures no paano niya trinoble shoot ano ang cause ng problema ano ang detalye ng problema bakit nagkaganon and then what are the remedial actions or corrective actions to avoid occurrence of the problem pre occurrence of the problem yan po guys ang mga documentations na dapat gawin ng isang maintenance engineer. So saan ito isasubmit yung mga reports? Of course, sa supervisor niya. Or even sa division manager or sa general manager. Or sa other department concern. Halimbawa sa production or operation team. So yan po ang ginagawa ng isang maintenance engineer. Hindi, hindi pa kasali guys yung paghawak ng mga maintenance crew or personnel we are focusing only on the some roles and responsibilities ng isang maintenance engineer I'm not saying na ito yung uh, fix na duty ng isang maintenance engineer there are a lot of responsibilities and duties guys ng maintenance, ng maintenance engineer but ang uh, sinasabi ko dito yung mga common uh, at least magkaroon kayo ng idea ano ang role ng isang maintenance engineer so yan po ang Uh, mga rules and duties ng isang maintenance engineers guys, no? So guys, I think that's all for today's episode guys. I hope na gusto ninyo ang ating video ngayon at guys, uh, please don't forget to like and share our video para naman na uh, may matulungan tayo mga aspiring mechanical engineers or sa mga newbie mechanical engineers. At then guys if uh, may mga katanungan kayo, please drop your comments sa ating comment section below at uh, yun lang guys no uh, maraming salamat sa panonood at uh, see you in my next video guys bye bye